How's it gang? Thanks for stopping by and watching Craps Hawaii again. We appreciate you always stopping by and having your support. So today I'm back here with Robert. He's been practicing yeah. a little bit, um, getting a little better. Remember the first time I said he never threw and he was practicing and we didn't do well. But that's <laughs> just part of uh, the game, right? So hopefully in this second session um, we'll get it down and Robert will throw a little better. Okay, so anyway, I'll meet you at the table. Okay, we're at the table and I'm going to be playing a thousand dollar bankroll. So we'll see how Robert will be doing. Okay, dice out. Yo, 11. 11. Yo, we love it. Oh. That's good for the pass line. Pay the pass line. Okay, yeah. you got a point of 10. 6, 4, 10. Mark the 10. And we're going to play an easy shot. Uh, Easy 205 just to start. Same thing I did with the last video. Try to collect something in the very beginning and then we'll adjust from there. Six three nine. Twenty five dollars. We're gonna cover this five. We don't need the hopping anymore. Oh, dice running. Six two eight. Good number eight. With eighty dollars, we actually a hundred and five, but we need to put back the quarter. So eighty dollar win. We're gonna take this to seventy five on a five. And the reason we do this, like I said, is because you're gonna have to subtract the field if the five gets hit. Over here, it's a double pay, so we don't have to worry about subtracting. So we want to build this side higher than the nine first. Eight. That's a good hit for us. It's another eighty dollar win. So at this point, I'm gonna take this down, take our win. We got a hundred seventy-five, eighty-five dollar profit. But I'm gonna play staying alive, so I'm gonna take this back. And we're gonna drop down one unit. And we're gonna go to 60, still 25 in the field. So right now we play 205, uh, 209 total. So we got about $36 profit, or at least our money back. I shouldn't say profit. Money back, that is our profit plus some of this. Okay. Um, I'm going to hop that five again on the come out until I get some change. And we'll just, you know, go back to hopping and uh, hopping the five and go back, take our profits that we made from the five and the nine that was placed out there by the winnings. Six. A little short on one dice, a little weak. Okay, so we got 60, pay 70. We got to subtract the field. So we win $45, and we're just going to put that. 
right there on the five. Oh, nice looking toss, and sometimes that happens. A nice roll, four, three, seven. But that's okay. That's what happens. Sometimes the toss is nice, but the results are bad. Okay, so I'm just going to go up and off right now. I'm putting this out here. And I'm going to play 240, which is what I got total. So it didn't cost me anything. Up and off. So that just means we're, we set our bets up there, but we're off on a come up. Seven. Mm. Uh, the, dice, the dice didn't look flat in your hand, Robert. Okay. Make sure you get the grip down, make sure it feels good before you start to look at your landing zone. A6. So this is actually only Robert's second day um, of practice and like I said he only played once so um, we gotta cut, cut him a break. 6-2-8. <laughs> <laughs> So that pays us seventy dollars, and I'm just going to take a chance. Maybe not the right thing to do right now, but um, just take a chance. And while he's practicing his throws, you know, I'm showing you some different strategies, different presses. So, nine got hit. Nine pays ninety-one dollars for six seven uh, sixty-five dollars pays ninety-one. So we're gonna pay it out as ninety-one. Seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-one dollars. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna play staying alive. We're gonna start coming back down. We're gonna go to the one thirty a lot special. Which is my base, and even though you see the 240 and how I'm playing, it's for me it's all off of my base. And like I said, if we can stay alive, get some money back, you know, we're still in the game no matter what happens. Five is still a point. Seven. That's so, a trade. Luckily, <laughs> we are uh, depressed playing staying alive. Thirty-six dollars, which is better than a loss. Coming out looking for a new point. Four, three, seven. Pay the dues. Pay the dues. Take the dose. 
That time I think you landed it over here, Robert. Okay. And I know you're trying to, trying to land it here. <laughs> you hit over here, but weak now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four. Four. Hard four. Hard four. four. This takes a lot of practice. A lot of practice. Oh, a lot of practice. Years. Some people pra practice for years. Nine. 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 That was a little shorty, too. That was a little shorty because your arc was a little higher. Mm -hmm. Nine, so nine pays us $85 for one. And this time I'm gonna take a chance again, Robert. So we won 85, I gave a dollar. I'm gonna also give a nickel. So $6 total I would give the dealer. And we're gonna quad press this. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna bring it here. We're gonna press there, there, there. Take in the six and eight to ninety each, the five to seventy five. And we had sixty, so we took the win, added the nickel, another twenty five. So that's the quad press for the two forty. Hey Robert, okay. are you looking for one more? Looking or we're gonna be one. digging in our tree. <laughs> one more. Oh. As they say, when you're looking for that one more. The dice hurt. The dice knows. Oh my gosh. But that's okay. I wanted to show the quad press. And <coughs> Win or lose, at least um, the viewers got to see the quad press. And they know how to uh, press that up. The reason I like I like playing the 240 sometimes, even if the table is bad and we're only getting one hit, two hits, um, people might think that I'm insane. The table is <laughs> hitting one, two, maybe three hits, and that's it. That with the 240, as long as we hit one inside, we're going to be pressed. We're only playing in the game for sixty dollars. Okay, dice off. 11. Yo, 11. Dice kissed on that one. Hard four. Sometimes that happens, a lot of times that happens when you're playing five to nine, you think you got the next best numbers to the seven, and yet the dice just goes outside, horn numbers, fours and tens. Oh. A little weak, you turn over here. I yeah. thought the landing zone is here. and this corner of this dice just stuck in the felt and died right there. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> uh, 
628 goes up against the rubber. Flip to a four. It's a 628. Got away with down. Got away with down. Again, we collect 70. I wanted to press, but uh, <laughs> I'm not really impressed with what's going on. I don't blame you. So, play staying alive, take back 180, go down to the 130. So now we're in for 60. In for 60. Okay. Hi. That's why we play staying alive and depressed. Lost oh, sixty dollars. Okay. So that's my reason as to why if I was in a one thirty, one ten, whatever I was, um, it, those of you who play those, you know, one tens or one thirty or whatever. 160 um, if you don't depress and play staying alive was this ours uh, mm, yeah yes. I think so um, if you don't depress and play staying alive what's going to happen is you're going to lose the 160 or the 110 whatever and like I said I play in higher money on table that's only giving <laughs> two three hits two three hits but because I'm depressing I'm in the game for only sixty dollars where the rest are in the game for 110 160 130 what whatever the case might be six right back so right yeah seventy dollars Maybe press the place in alive. Stay alive. Taking back 180 from the 240, so we only in the game for sixty dollars. Whereas if you like I said you had 110, 160, and you only take the win and don't depress, you're gonna be out there for 160, and if the seven came, you're gonna lose more than I did, even though I started with bigger money. Okay. Come out. Thanks, Tom. Oh, deep. Ten. Ten. Got away with that. Of course. Oh, that was the come out. Yeah, come out. Of course, you know, if the, if it came point seven, yeah, I'd lose 240, lose 160, or 10, whatever you're playing. But I'm studying the table. It's uh, at least giving one hit rather than point sevens. Nine. Nine, six, three. So that pays fifty-four one. And because I was in the game for sixty, I can take that, and I am in the game for ten dollars. Nice. So much pressure when you join. Okay. <laughs> oh, deep. Nine. Okay, so 50 for one, and now I'm going to press. I'm going to 60 on both sides. We could have gone to 75 or 85 on the nine, but I want to press both sides just in case it comes back to the five, because earlier Robert was throwing a lot of fives, so. Okay, I saw. Oh, right off the pump. Hard four. Hard four. Little bit more effort. Five. Got away with that. Just one. like I said, Robert throws a lot of fives, and that's why I press. <laughs> Not only the nine, but the five. <clears throat> so a lot of times you need to read the table and see what's going on. Okay, so. 
sixty dollars base eighty four I'm gonna give and get some change and it's it's paid eighty five for that uh you know what I'm just gonna get change I'm not gonna take the win I'm gonna take a chance give six dollars. And press up to 150. So we're power pressing. So that was 80 for 85 for one win. Right. But at I, 35. No, I had 60. 60. Pressing to 150. Nice. So okay. Power press. Ten winner, hard ten. Hard ten oh, winner. Five. Oh, why did you make the point? <laughs> That's why I don't like when the point gets thrown. Because I would have collected right here. Yes. Gonna press that. We're gonna make that uh, 66. Oh, Ace Deuce. I thought that three was coming. Ace Deuce. Add two more to that. Yes, sir. Side now. The side, you gotta get the knee. Well, what should we do? Should we press it? Or should we take 85? Let's take 85 for now. Kind of deep into the roll. So, 85 for one. Okay. Securing some profit. A little weak too. Oh. The weak ones get the ten. I can see that you you're making the arch, but you're not coming through with your hand, following through, pushing the dice to the wall. Okay. My so my follow through. Okay. Twelve. Yeah, that that felt good. You know, you're going like this, you're releasing the dice, but when you throw in, you got to push it, push it okay. if you want it to get there. Because okay. when you throw in a little weak and you throw in on high arc, what's going to happen is that the dice just going to die. Yeah. Was that better? Uh, a little better. <laughs> <laughs> a little better. Okay, that's 85 to pull one. I'm gonna give uh, six dollars again, so I gave ten, take four, and we're gonna press up to one fifteen. So I gave you two targets of five and nine to give us some good money now. Six. Well, you're gonna hit the lowest point. Huh? <laughs> That's what usually happens. Anyway, you hit the lowest point. Well, I'm gonna take thirty-five dollars. Can't just keep pressing and taking nothing. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, uh, well. We 
took a chance. Left two hundred, three hundred, two hundred and ninety-six dollars on the table. Taking a chance. Uh, we had an opportunity. <laughs> yes. Didn't get there. Quite a bit on the table, taking a chance. Hundred dollars. Will they make ninety dollar profit? Profit with some opportunity, <laughs> but never got there. Okay. Okay. So it'd be our last roll. Last roll. Make it good. Make it good. Hard four. <clears throat> Hard four, right, right back. back. No opportunity to make money there. To fours and tens, outsides. Well, last hand, this is the last hand, so we're just going to press. Oh boy. Six. Six. Come on. Oh, I shot over here. So I should have had 60 over here. Oh, I do have 60. It looks short. Uh, so $70. Okay, pressing up to 90, going to 65, where we can collect 91. to eight ninety pays one oh five okay pressing up one unit so we're gonna go to one hundred and twenty we're gonna take back seventy five I'm gonna just take this back instead of making an odd win I'll leave it at sixty Seven out. Oh boy. That was a short roll. That was a short roll. Okay, so we lost all this. We started with a thousand. We got five hundred there. Six hundred. Seventy five, eighty five. 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 5, 6, 75, 85, 95, 96, so we ended up 696, almost $700, so we lost like $204, $304, $304, Okay, gang, so that was our second session. It wasn't as bad as the first. It was pretty decent. It wasn't the greatest. Um, I bet according to like how I thought maybe we could catch an extra few hands and right. we, we did it all the time. Um, that's just how it goes, but Robert seems to be getting better and still learning uh, the process. And now remember, that's just his second time of throwing the dice. 
So how did it feel this time? Um, it felt a lot better. A lot of with your coaching, yeah, it's coming around. Mm. The salt and pepper, little salt and pepper, <laughs> getting a little seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just gonna take more and more practice, and uh, Absolutely. we'll get there. I mean, some of us, like myself, we you know I've been playing for 30 years, although I haven't been, you know, wasn't a big thing about setting the dice. Just recently, you know, I've been getting into it, but I still say I am not a dice influencer. I'm more of a strategist. Um, so we all have our own goals to set. Okay, again, thanks for dropping by. Uh, thanks for coming, Thank Robert. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Okay, so <coughs> we'll see each other again. I'll show you in the future when you get back here. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Stay safe. <laughs>